the m two most important things are access to capital and access to talent. And talent that doesn't just mean like having a good university and big companies around it. I think it's, uh, uh, we, we're recruiting a lot of people right now and what we're looking for is people that have experienced uh, this, uh, the, the, the startup life cycle. So people that understand what it is working at a startup, have the skills to uh, take us to the next level. And, uh, and, and uh, I think Austin has uh, a lot of companies that kind of like fit this, this profile. Uh, and in terms of what else uh, could be here, I, I, I don't know, like maybe uh, I, I see a lot of companies getting to us when they reach a certain point, they start like moving to uh, establishing a presence in San Francisco, moving to San Francisco and, and it, it could be that the, the, uh, it becomes harder to, to raise their B, their C round. So uh, I think that, that could be something that uh, would uh, help the companies stay here and, and buy them. And if they stay here, other companies are more likely to, to come after them. Um. To use like a higher level example, I think that uh, that startups are kind of like a fire and what they need is something to really make them explode. And so for him, because he's definitely further along than us and all these guys are really, it's, uh, it's different things. It's access to talent, it's access to capital, things like that. For us, a little bit earlier in the game, it's access to those early adopters and it's access to those customers where we can be close, we can be around what, they're, what they do, you know, how their business operates, how they promote these events since that's the space we're in. And so really it's finding, it's finding that explosive fire and I think, I think Austin is a great place to sort of fuel the fire that we're kind of creating. And um, we've, we've lived here for two months and have been locked in our office sort of like finding customers as much as possible. So for us, I, I honestly, I hate to give like a terrible answer, but I really can't think of anything to make Austin better because. No, it's okay. We'll take that answer. I, it, you know, it's a cop out, but you guys are just so great that I just wouldn't want to change you. Um, I, I don't know. For us, uh, I think they're all of the, the co-founder, I mean, um, Jeff was originally here. Um, you know, he's moved on certainly to some new things in local um, here that are, have been successful as well. And, um, you know, Kevin was living in San Diego as a runner that, you know, really was searching out a certain lifestyle. Um, we moved the company originally to Denver, which is where I'm from originally. And, you know, it was also a lot about balance and lifestyle. And for us, I think Austin fits that same sort of uh, profile in terms of really having people that um, I think actually, even in a startup culture, I think is important to sort of have that. Because um, I think it actually um, does some interesting things to creativity. Um, for us, obviously, it's a lot fitness-based. So, you know, that's, I think, brings a certain amount out in people um, around the whole, you know, certainly we have some A-types. I'm classified in that realm probably um but we you know uh, that balance is really important i think you find that here and i think companies actually should f try to leverage that so they should figure out how to even in a startup environment should try to figure out how to you know kind of welcome that embrace it um, because i think it, cr it it actually generates creativity in many ways and, and i think austin is a great place to do that um i think you know on the maybe more specifics of things that i think austin might need to do in the long run um, you know, I, th I would agree that, um, you know, creating and continuing to create the pool around, you know, large rounds for the types of startups that are coming into Austin and continuing to help them grow, I think is going to be really critical. Um, but, you know, I, I mean, I think it's, uh, I, I mean, I, if I, I mean, if you look at the list, I certainly would put it in the top three in the country, you know, top three places in the country. And I think that's a great position to be in. Let me just say in uh, terms of attracting capital, that is one of our number one uh, priorities here. And uh, I am going to the Bay Area um, in November, so if anyone has any of those uh, VCs that they think I should go and start hitting up, please let me know. I'd love to go make an appointment and tell them why they should come look at our Austin companies. Anyway, Sean? There's also timers up here, which it totally just cracks me up because I imagine like the mayor's up here and he's, he, does he use his timer? Who's using they his timer? They use timers? the timer on public um, 
comment. So <laughs> when uh, when the public wants to come up and comment and complain about stuff, they have three minutes. That's sweet. And it's a great way to go beep, beep, your time is up. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. That is awesome. I'm thinking about using it the next time you start talking. I'm just going to be like... <laughs> well, I still get paid by the word. Yeah, so sweet, sweet. I tend to talk a lot. <laughs> I, I just texted um, one of my coworkers to see if he used Map My Ride uh, so I could take that jersey. Awesome. Uh, so, the, yeah, the startup lab, it's a particular it's a particular way, right? Those all-nighters and everything. But on the other hand, let me, let me paint a contrast for you coming out of a DFW area. In our offices, we're in South Lake, which is actually in Tarrant County, the, the Fort Worth side of things, which... Fort Worth is tons better than Dallas. Just, I'm a Fort Worth boy. It's tons better than Dallas. But, uh, so yeah, yeah, you do work those all-nighters. The I think for the last month, we've all been eating dinner at work and guys going home at 2 a.m. and stuff like that. But let's let's paint that picture in South Lake where we were in Dallas. There are a lot of metro areas around the United States. At 2 a.m. in South Lake, where our old offices were, there were a couple of options. There was walk outside and stand there <laughs> or it was stay in the office basically if you needed to take a real quick 20 30 minute break or whatnot there was not a lot to do at 2 a.m and i mean even even just like go for a little walk where we were we were on off highway 1709 not too far from the um saber headquarters out there and it's basically um people in suburbans with one kid trying to run you over and, uh, you know, it's, I, that's a great lifestyle, I guess, but uh, it's not great for the startup lifestyle. S five minutes from our office is the hike and bike trail. Five minute bike ride from our office is Barton Springs. Whole Foods is right there. There's all this stuff on 6th Street. For ACL, for South by Southwest, we are within walking distance of that. So even crowded around the crazy startup lifestyle, you've got all these things right here. I mean, you, it's, Austin is super compact. It's in, in the same way that San Francisco is really compact, seven by seven. Austin has that really small feeling to it in a really positive way. The culture here for us, outside of the work culture, the people culture is so invaluable. And I, I made the point of pointing out Joel Bush, Joel Bush, Joel Bush. I think I've said it seven times. Now you'll remember he's back there on his <laughs> laptop like he always is. But you need to meet Joel because if you meet Joel, you'll find out one of the things that we learned when we moved to Austin and that it's, uh, and you, you already know this, so I know I'm preaching the choir other than those five hands that were raised of people that don't live in Austin yet. It's that as soon as you meet somebody here, you freaking see them everywhere. <laughs> it, it, it's insane. Like, it's super positive, but it is insane. So I was in San Diego a couple weeks ago for Comic-Con, which is freaking awesome. Another thing you should have on your bucket list if you haven't been to Comic-Con. And Comic-Con tickets about 150,000 people for that event, which is basically three times, or no, not three times, like five times the number of tickets that South by sold for music um, or for interactive last year. So five times that many people was Comic-Con. And I'm walking, walking down um, to go to run to some session with Kid Robot, and I hear Jonathan, somebody else, and it's Joel Bush. Because he's randomly there, just hustling like Joel Bush does. But that happens to me like every weekend here. Every day I'll go somewhere and I'll see somebody like Jacqueline or like, um, oh, my mind just totally went blank. Um, somebody like Robert Quigley, who had been at the Statesman, is now a professor at over UT. You're going to meet these people here. You meet these people that are connected to you instantly and that are really trying to help you along in your business and trying to offer you you know, advice for what you're doing, or like Quig at the Statesman. Uh, we have an excellent relationship with the Statesman here in town, and they've done a bunch of fun content, content things with Gowalla. And they didn't do that after we closed a B round or were on this thing or that thing or announced a partnership with Disney. They did that like right after we got here. It, they pretty much like welcomed us in and were like, okay, we see what you guys are doing with the path that you're on, and we want to join with you and do that. Um, so many people did that for Gowalla when we got here. It's it's been excellent for our families. It's been excellent for us personally. The ability to just you know roll out of bed and you're you're in the middle of doing things. You don't have some 45 minute commute on into town. Definitely coming from uh, if you were to come from the Bay Area, you would definitely be dealing with the traffic situation. Coming from DFW, that was a part of our lives every day. Uh, but yeah, it's I don't even remember what the freaking question was. If you can tell, I'm pretty stoked about Austin. <laughs> uh, I've I've been here for two and a half years, and uh, I actually do want to continue ignoring my fake timer uh, on the financing side of things. Uh, 
I know that's something, uh, you know, that the city's looking into and wants more of, and that for, for a, a lot of people, uh, particularly if they are looking at a, or considering their B round, uh, maybe they're not looking in Austin for a B round. But we've taken two rounds at our company at this point, and uh, we are not about to move to San Francisco. We, uh, our VCs are all based out there. Um, but we have our startup life here. We're growing our company here. And even, even that money loves the idea of us being in Austin. I mean, those VCs out there have been super supportive of us moving to Austin, and it's been an excellent thing for our company. And I think that's the thing that really boils down to wherever your money winds up coming from, if you're in that in a VC kind of model with your business, is are you somewhere where the company is going to grow and where it's going to flourish? And your company isn't going to grow and flourish if everybody's kind of stagnant in their personal life away from work, because when they get off of work at 1 a.m., they're in a car for 30 minutes driving to wherever. You know, if they can get, jump on their bike and go down to their favorite bar, that's a huge plus. There's so many little things like that in Austin that you can't really say that's worth five points, that's worth seven points, that's plus an experience badge. But they all really, <laughs> they all add up and it makes that, that work life so much better for everybody. And so, which in turn, wherever your capital's from, they're gonna see that and, and see you're growing and flourishing.